So, this video is about how you should distribute your protein, carbohydrates and fat percentages when you get your total calories. Now, the way we do it and the way we design your program when it comes to doing your macros, the first thing we think about is obviously total calories, dependent on the goal. If someone is wanting to lose body fat, we'll make sure they're in a deficit. If someone wants to gain muscle, we'll make sure they're in a surplus. If someone wants to maintain their body weight, we make sure they are on their maintenance or what we can guess their maintenance is. After that, we then look at protein, okay? Protein is pretty much the same for everyone. 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. So for me, say I'm, 200, I'm 225 pounds, I will have 225 grams of protein. Don't know if that's my weight right now, but you get the idea. Then, the fat and the carbohydrates is a little bit of guesswork okay you have to test out during your macros and I don't mind saying this to people okay there is no perfect rule when it comes to what you should be having okay you should have a minimum amount of fat and make sure this is enough to make sure digestion and bodily function is okay and keeps your hunger at bay okay because fat obviously digests a lot slower so it can keep you satisfied for longer however as long as your total daily calories at the end of the day for your goal, remain the same. I'm not too fussed whether you have high fat and low carb or high carb and low fat, okay? This is what you I want you to decide and make sure that you feel good on it, okay? For me personally, I can feel quite good on having quite a lot of like fattier meats and avocados and not as high carb as I could potentially have, but my daily total calories always stays the same.